Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, Ohio. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the Cincinnati Reds. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And seeing the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Spencer Steer. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you got a Leading really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. The, the opposing hitters hitter. are going to see a lot oh, of cutters. Oh. This guy can throw it to the front side of the plate, the back side of the plate, so you're really not able to cheat to get the fat part of the bat on the baseball. Oliver ball, Dunn in the box here lets that one go for a ball. First pitch. The 1 0. Bounced out to short. De La Cruz gathers That's and it. throws to first. One up, one down. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored and you want to get off to a great start score early because if you don't you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games which no one wants to be a part of William right. Contreras batted with one down Over. takes a strike Contreras goes five feet 11 inches batting second in today's lineup and he was born in Venezuela One out, base is empty. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Two out, space is empty. And that Move. one Ball. cutting but missing down low. At the belt and fires. A yeah. pitch in for a strike, and it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Stevenson brings it in for the third out. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here with my pal Singy, and on the mound in this one, Aaron Ashby. What do you have on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And a foul ball. The pitch. And that's Ball. outside. One and one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, 
Next Ball, offering is down. downstairs. That one the other way. Oh, he gloves it. Here's the lineup for the Reds. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. And now it's going to be Spencer Steer. Yeah, Swing and a miss, strike one. Your ball is one strike. You'll one. Wouldn't chase one that one. time. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. And ball. another ball. Two and two. And a pitch. And that one got a piece of him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Christian Encarnacion Strand, the next to hit for the Reds. First pitch, and he just misses. And he deals. Ball. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. And now the lefty. And that one fouled off. But you want. That one is absolutely belted. Chorio going back. Can't get there. This one lands foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Step off, throw to first. Hey. Steer back in on a dive. Steer leads off first with one away. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And that one almost hit him. Outside, and that is ball four. This is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've that seen him give up walks in the past. And it's an game. issue once again game early game. on. Now oh, batting oh, Jamer oh. Candelario. Strike right. one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. One out. Runners at first and second. Two now. On its way to the corner. Chorio drifts towards it. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Two on, one out. Next oh. offering misses down and away. Way to lay off that pitch down. Kicks and deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. That's second. inside. Ball. Runners at first and second with one gone. 
Ground ball right side could be two. Tags the runner for one, and that's two. We move to the second here in Cincinnati. No score. Stop Willie Adamas. Adamas. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The right-hander back to work. That one hammered, but pulled foul. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Swings through that one for strike okay. two. Hogan, well, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. That was a well-executed slider away for the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0-2 in the count, and at that point, you could start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase and got the quick strikeout. Stepping in, Sal Fraley. That one ah. finds the zone. Going one. The pitch. Nope, ball. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Look out! That hit him. And it hit him. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit, and that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS, well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Brings it in. That is, that is the right hand. Jack and Up now for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio. Ashcraft picks the there. first, hey. and he's back in there. That ball. misses Outside. the zone, and yeah, that's ball one. and a miss as he was late that time. One and one. The one, two. Base knock center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Uh, everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So two down. Next for Milwaukee, Bryce Terang. On the ground to the left. That's foul and that's ball. just foul. Two outs. That yeah. one's in there. That's strike two. Yeah. 
Next to offering is outside. And that's a strikeout looking. Throws him with the heater at the knee. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. We're ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Ashby, back to work. And that's outside. 1-0. And ball. another ball. Next pitch ball. is downstairs. Good. And that's in there at the knees. The pitch. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. And here it comes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Three two keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Up the middle, a dive, nice stop over to first. Nicely done for the out. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop, gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the team up for sure. Now it's the shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. That one finds the zone. Strike one. You know, one of the most memorable innings ever for Ellie happened in July 2023. In one inning, De La Cruz hit a two-out single to take the lead and then proceeded to do something that a Reds player hasn't done in more than 100 years. He stole second, third, and home in the same inning. It only took two pitches for him to steal all three bases. Chorio settles under it and makes the catch. That is, that is. And there's two away. The second base. Santiago Espino getting ready to hit. In the air, left field. And that oh. is a foul ball. Here comes the 0-1. No, that missed. One. That's the ball. Hey, right, doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power of fastball, but he's working a little differently here. Nope, Just off outside. the outside ball. edge. And it's 2-1. and one. All tied up. Bottom half of inning number two. Ground ball to the right side. And it gets by him. And that extends the inning. In now for the Reds, Will Benson. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities the these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Kicks and fires. Swings and pulls a foul to the right side. That 
going 95 to finish him off. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied, nothing, nothing. New inning getting started. Up now for Milwaukee, Joseph Ortiz. Joseph Ortiz. And the right hater back to work. Fly ball down the line. And that'll fall for a base hit. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. So the lineup flips over. And now the DH, Oliver Dunn. That misses, and it's one to know. If you're a base one runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. With the go-ahead run at first, we're here in the top half of inning number three. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Hater deals and a foul ball makes the count two and one. The pitch headed down the line and a foul ball. I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. William Contreras in the on deck circle. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Stevenson drifts towards it, and there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it, just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And now it's William Contreras. Went down on strikes his first time through. Fouled off. He was late. the dish goal for one popped out foul to the catcher his first time off that's in for a strike at 95 or one if I'm at the dish right now I am aggressive over the heart of the plate this guy's been filling up this strike zone so you know you're gonna get a good pitch to hit and is nasty as a as you might as well take all three swings Position with two gone. So first and second with two outs. Willie Adamas stands in. He's 0 for 1. 
That no, that miss. Makes, that's the ball. First and second, two down. And that's ball. downstairs and outside. Tough spot right ball, here, no a couple strike. runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, two outs. And that one fouled off. Riding to the plate. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Good fair right there. I mean, a slider that moved to the very last moment. Probably difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pick. That one ripped. Base hit right field. Throw quickly to the infield. And the go-ahead run has to hold up at third with two away. A couple of singles back to back. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Next for the Brewers, Sal Fraley. Hit by a pitch his first time up. Just missed. Righty delivers. Yeah. And a strike. Base is loaded. One more. Two down. And that's oh. off the inside edge. Ball two. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Here's the sinker at the knees for a strike. Two and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Left hand hitter waits. And there's a ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Left-hand batter waits. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Grinding A-B right here. About to see pitch number ten. That one lifted to left. Makes the catch. Inning over. They leave them loaded. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. No score. here in Cincinnati as we go to the last of the third and ready to hit now for Cincinnati Bubba Thompson the wind of the pitch out to short slings it across one gone bottom of the third inning talk about being able to dial up the velocity that first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt back to the top of the lineup Stuart Fairchild digs in now. That yeah. one finds the corner. Strike one. On the ground right side. 
Fires over to first. And a couple of quick outs. No one's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now the left fielder, Spencer Steer. He was plunked in his first trip to the plate. That to right, Chorio settles underneath it, nabs it, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And we're back on to the fourth. And here's the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. That misses Outside the zone. Ball. And now it's even one and one. Right-hander kicks, deals, That's and the ball. ball evens the count. Just off the outside edge, Jackson Choi up next. And a pitch. Swinging for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side throw as the hitter. This is tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Jackson Chorio up now for the Brewers. One for one with a single so far. And the slider uh -oh. just misses. One out. Down, base is empty. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. He's safe. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. This is Bryce Terrain. His first at bat was a strikeout. Pickoff throw. Chorio dives back in safely. And misses inside. Chorio over at first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for another play. Light drive. And that gets down for a base hit. Row comes into third, and it throws offline, safe at third. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. 
Here's the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And fouled off. And another oh. ball. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next pitch well, is outside. outside. There's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And a pitch. Base hit into right center. One runs in. Coming home. He'll score as well. It's 2 0. Stringing them together, that's oh, three that hits in a off. row. I love the approach he had right there with that oh, pitch. Oh, Not trying to do too yeah. much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. So up next, Oliver Dunn. Right through there for a strike. Yo one. Ball one, ball, one, one there. Strike. One out and a runner at second. That one no, not close. And that's ball two. That's down and in. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Man at second. Top of the zone for a called strike. Full count. And that's ball, ball four. four. Runner take your base. Well, he's starting to look a little gas to me, and yeah, we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. And now, William Contreras, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. He is a talented player. His big brother, Wilson, has voiced that his little brother may end up being better than he is. That's in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Nick Martinez appears to be getting loose. Cruz warming up as well. Two on, one out. Roll the short, could be two. Off balance B, there's one. And that's two. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two run double. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Great America Ballpark, go, 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 bottom go, go, of the fourth. And now the first baseman, baseman, Christian Encarnacion Strand. As the lefty gets to work. That one that's off the low, mark, ball. ball one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And he grounds one to the right side. Terrain. Sends it to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Couple of pitches and a quick out. The third baseman, number 24. Jamer. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, Jamer Candelario. 0 for 1 so far. In there. 
there at the knees. The Brewers trying to protect a two run lead. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Yeah. On the corner for a strike. 0 and 2. Quickly into an 0 and 2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. Good eye oh, right there. Blow. It's a good take. On the ground to third. And that quickly two away. Now back. The catch. Tyler. Next for Cincinnati, Tyler Stevenson. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. That misses the zone. Ball one. Just missed. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Two down, nobody on. And another oh. ball. Ellie De La Cruz up next for the Reds. And All that's right. in there at the knees. And it's fouled away. Two outs. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. And one, two, three go the Reds. They trail things here. Two nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Christian Yelich. The pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. In and to his right. Squeezes it. One down. Up next in the walk off. The short shot. So digging in, Willie Adamas. One for two. That misses oh. the zone, and yeah, that's ball one. one. Right yeah. through there for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. And a foul ball. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. One down, base is empty. No, Good eye in that spot. Still two and two after the foul ball. Now fly ball to right center. Sizes this one up. He's there. He's got it. And there are two outs. 
to the center fielder, number 10. Sal. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the center fielder, Sal Fralick. That one's in there, and that is strike one. And the that slider missed. The just ball. misses. And a pitch. That's a ball. a full count. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a pop-up. De La Cruz moving under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Gone in order are the Brewers, but they hold the 2-0 lead. Here in Cincinnati, and here is Ellie De La Cruz. The wind and the pitch. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Well, these Reds, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Bounce to the left side. Zips it across. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now that second base is Santiago. Digging in, Santiago Espinal. And he's already singled in this game. First no, pitch missed, just the misses. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point yeah. and make him work a little bit harder. One and one. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Kick Sandios. And down on strikes he goes. And they're down to their last down. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter. But the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Benson in the box now. No oh, balls and a strike. Not one close one. with that one. And one and one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. Ball. This has been a treat to watch. Two down, nobody on. Right side, and this should do it. Throw the first ball game. And the Get a shutout on the mound. Shades of Juan Marichal in this one, Boob. Outstanding work on the mound. A one-hitter for your first MLB win. Certainly something special. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.
the final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Brewers, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left seven runners on base. For the Reds, no runs, just one hit, no errors. They left three runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 26 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.